Madam Biggers of Michigan Warriors TV, and I'm here with Michigan Warriors associate head coach John Hamry. John, you, you came, you've had pretty, uh, a pretty successful coaching career. You've, you've coached with Mo in the past. I mean, what do you notice about coaching with Mo in the NAHL, maybe different than from uh, the previous levels that you guys have coached together on? Well, we spent two years together in the national team program in Ann Arbor and, and reunited this year with the Michigan Warriors. And, and uh, uh, common foundation of values and playing the game honestly, uh, fundamental skill development, and really focusing on developing the players uh, uh, both positionally and as young men in character. One of the things that uh, both then and now really focused on is the character of the player, the character of the young man. What is the biggest difference that you've noticed with uh, the guys on the team at this point in the season as opposed to the start of the season? Uh, it's a long season and so kids, some of the kids that have played junior hockey before uh, understand the nature of a 60 to 70 to 80 game schedule and other kids and this is whether you got a, a freshman in college his first time after a high school or midget uh, whether it's that rookie pro whether it's a guy first year a junior coming out of high school uh, getting over that uh, uh, that hilltop of the second half of the season pushing uh, uh, into that stretch run for their first time in a in a career going 70 80 90 games instead of 30 or 40 so uh, good kids really the work ethic and the consistency and the mental approach of the game uh, but sustaining that over an eight, nine month period. When, when you, in, in saying that, when you look at a lot of these guys, because I know the team was pretty young, some guys um, may have played junior hockey uh, prior to this year, but a lot of the guys were coming from high school too. What, as a coach, was it, did you change your approach from coaching, having to deal with those guys who might not have as much experience at this level as coaching the players who have experience at this level? Uh, you know, the players that have experience are still looking to grow and develop. Uh, uh, to make the analogy, a lot of people say, well, it's easy to coach the, the, the highest skilled players. And I would argue it's uh, those are the players that might be more challenging to coach in the sense that their level of development is on such a finer margin. Uh, to keep challenging them, helping them grow. You know, veteran players, uh, uh, yes, they're veteran, and so they have a lot of experience to, to keep playing and growing from. But they have things that they can improve upon in their game too and to continually refine that so they can be the best players they can be uh, and, and keep them uh, new practice drills, new game uh, uh, ideas, keep them growing and their mental approach to the game is a real challenge and a real fulfillment for our staff as well. Well, John, I want to thank you for your time uh, today. You've certainly done a great job with the guys this year and, and looking forward to many more seasons with you on the coaching staff. Adam, that's very kind of you, and, and uh, you'll always be welcome in this office, uh, <laughs> uh, more so if you're wearing a Minnesota Twins hat. All right, I appreciate it, John. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you.